Hi guys, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your old laptop with M.2 SATA SSD. This can be useful to those who already have M.2 form factor SSDs in their possession, otherwise you can just buy a regular 2.5 inch SSD. In my case I recently upgraded this Dell Inspiron with a new SSD and now we have a spare drive. It's Toshiba 256GB which we are going to install in this 2015 Dell Inspiron. Okay, so this M.2 to SATA 2.5 inch adapter costs under 4 bucks and there is also a model with aluminum case for 4 bucks. All the links for reliable sellers in description below. Let's see what's inside. Some teeny tiny screws for a cover. This adapter supports M.2 drives with different dimensions. My SSD is 2280, which means 22 mm wide and 80 mm long. Nicely made PCB and pretty simple schematics, two filter caps and 3.3 voltage regulator. This adapter supports SATA SSDs with B and B plus M keys. If you have only M key, then it's PCI Express SSD and such adapter simply doesn't exist. Slide the SSD at an angle into the slot and tighten the screw. And now let's secure the cover with these tiny screws. It's perfect. This case has the same dimensions and the same screw holes as a regular hard drive. The SSD shows up in the bar, so we're good to go. Next I have to install Windows 10 and then we will test the speed and compare results. After upgrade you'll notice the difference immediately. Even despite the low performance of the Celeron CPU and just 4 gigs of RAM, Windows 10 apparently runs more smoothly. As you can see, all applications start almost instantly, no problems at all. For speed testing, I'm gonna use Crystal Disk Mark Benchmark tool. I already have test results of the hard drive, so I'll show you both during the test. Well, I don't really think we should even try to compare these results. Guys, I'll show you real quick one more option for a spare M.2 SSD. This is USB 3 to M.2 adapter or enclosure. It costs about 10 bucks, the link in description box below. This adapter has aluminum case and supports the same M.2 SATA SSDs. So it's nice to have small in size but high capacity, up to 2TB, super fast external SSD drive. 